Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Crew, part number 85. We're going to be doing Pocono in the Xfinity Series. Off camera, I did a Truck Series race at Charlotte, and I'll show you the, the results and the money earned. Pretty much a very uneventful race, not much to talk about. We won it and got money from it, and now we're only under a million away to upgrading the next part in our facility. But yeah, now that we're here, I was going to adjust the work plan and all that stuff, but I'll do that here. I don't know why, but... I guess I'm I'm thinking like if I don't do the, if I do this like stuff like off camera, people are gonna think like um, I don't know like I, I redid the race or something or I don't know was I supposed to not do that? Did I just fuck up? Michigan's next. Speedway. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. I'm just being really really stupid. <laughs> All right. Now we can, all right. Yeah, um, really nothing too much else to look into. We were going into this with a good car rating for Pocono. Um, let's just change the settings so that's all proper. 25%, four times, strict, three gray stages, all right. That's all good. Now let's get into qualifying here and see where we start. Off uh, turn three, I can't really imagine a, a worse lap time than that. I messed up turns one and two, and that was 18th. Okay, that's, I, you know, I can take that because that was not a an ideal lap time. But yeah, but our rivals, we don't have to worry about them. We're, we are ahead of them. And John Hunter Nemechek on the pole. Alright, setup, it's from Nipa Gaming. And all that good stuff. And we moved down to 17th, so we're going to be on the inside, which is good. Let's see what happens here. Kind of sucks we didn't really get the, the qualifying run I wanted. I don't know why the thing said 2017 for the race date. But whatever, we're racing back in time, I guess. And John Hunter Nemechek with the juicy DLC scheme. And Jeremy Clemens gets a penalty. How good of a feeling is that? That's what you get for saying blank engineering. Ooh, that's what you get. All right, at least we're on the inside here. We can maybe get a good start. We'll see how many uh, laps we have in this stage. And it's five, okay. And 10 in the fuel. Uh, we may have to pit at the end of stage one and two. I'm pretty sure. Or we can maybe stay out? I'm not sure. But either or, we got an amazing restart. Moved ourselves up almost into the top ten. And judging by how this car is running right now, it has actual speed, and that's very nice to see. I think we'll just try to kind of... Don't stick your nose in there. Okay. It's scary. It's this is like one of the tracks too where they they just do that. Or it's bad here. Well, it's bad everywhere where they just poke their nose in the corner. But it feels really dumb here. I don't know, but thankfully we're we're away from all that and we're inside the top ten. We got a good run. Hammer hits the brakes for some weird reason. We get a run on Harvick. Okay, we might have side drafted him there a tiny bit. And no, I'm not gonna dive bomb it. I, I felt it. Like, I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it. Does that make sense? Probably not. All guys try and get the lead on John Hunter. We're going to try to get by Custer. We have All Guys Draft, which has helped me out a little bit. And we, you know, I don't really like to be side by side here in a tunnel turn, but we're going to try to make it work. Ooh, that, like, bump thing. And we're still there. But yeah, I think we have a really strong car to win this. It really feels like it. It's nice. It's nice to have this car be at the point where it's that good. Now we just need to get the, uh, whatever thing we need for the tires to be at, like, the 100 max thing and see how that goes. But yeah, we got three laps left in the stage, and I think maybe another lap or so we can catch these cars in front of me. Two to go. We've caught this little pack of cars up in front of me. We got a good run. We'll peek our nose down the inside. Allgaier gives me room. Thank you for that. And I wash up the corner like a complete and utter scrub. That's always good. But we actually got through the corner. Still somehow better than him. That's weird. But I will gladly take it. Now we got to get our sights on passing Nemechek, which I think it, it, we can. We are faster, but it's not by like a crazy amount. We do angle ourselves in that corner really well. We'll set him up here for turn three. And we'll peek our nose down the inside. 
Now we just gotta, you know, get through this corner okay, and we might be golden. Hit the little yellow line there a little bit as we doored him a bit. As we're gonna be heading into the white flag for stage one, and he, yeah, he flat out just drove right back around me. Well, damn. He's not gonna, he's not gonna give it up. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll try to set him up here again, maybe off this corner. Or, you know, I don't want to go off the track. That does not make things better. But we do get a run to the inside. And can we side draft him? Pull him back a little bit? Ooh, yeah, it worked. Okay, that, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, well, I guess we'll try to go side by side here and see what happens. Let's keep it to the bottom. There we go. I still, I still can't get by him. It's like he, it's like, it's like he's actually trying. Should be able to get him in turn three here, as long as Cole Cutter doesn't run me over. And it almost kind of happened. Oh my god. What kind of stage finish is this? We're going to be three wide. I can't. Am I going to lose second plat? I lost second. That might be good in the long haul, but boy does that suck. I could have gotten that second. I could have gotten second. And nobody's pitting. Uh, except for the back half of the field. Um, depends on how long stage two is. If it's five laps, or if it's just five laps, um, I'm gonna stay out, hoping that stage two is only four laps. It has to be because if not, <laughs> first the twenty eighth just screwed themselves. We'll see. Green flags back out. How many laps do we have in stage two? Five laps. Oh boy. That's going to cause some problems. Because we're going to be around the lap short. Depends on when it goes down to four. Because this is such a long track. It's just, it's like one lap is a, is a big lap here. Okay, we're down to four there, so. Oh, I don't know. We might be able to stretch it. Maybe, just with the little off throttle time we have. I don't know. Um, we'll see how this plays out. Off turn one, normally right around this point, we you know transition down another lap, and we did just there. So I don't know if we're really gaining or saving fuel, either or. We're probably going to be running out of fuel, like heading into turn three on the last lap of stage two. Which, if they're this many cars, if they're going to stay out, they, they might have to pit. I don't know if they're going to pit, but... If they do, we got a big buffer from them to, what, a 28th place car or whatever they're currently running in. Because I just mess up that corner pretty bad. And there goes John Hunter. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I just, um, well, I guess we'll see how this kind of plays out. It should be heading down another lap. Okay, went down another lap there. Yeah, we're we're gonna be like sputtering. It probably head into turn three. Calling it. We're just not saving enough fuel, and I'm getting hounded by people behind me. So I, if they make it on fuel, I'm gonna be kind of salty because I'm not gonna be able to do it, but they will. So that's gonna kind of probably upset me. And the tires are getting stupid worn at this point, and I just can't turn it. Because, you know, tire wear thing is broken in this game. And back to 7th. Alright, white flag. Well, we'll see what happens. Certainly interesting that they all kind of stayed out when they, when they know they can't make it on fuel. Watch me be, like, the only one to run out of fuel. Like, how, how much shit... That, that would be a NASCAR Heat 3 thing to do, just to completely dig me over. Like, screw having the AIs playing the same rules as you are. Yeah, it just hit 0 for me. Let's go in this corner. And there we go. Okay. Will my prediction come true? No, not yet. Surprising. Oh, wait. Nope, there it goes. Okay. That's lovely. And, and oh, they're not going to run out of fuel. That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Hey, the loose stage points. Yeah, perfect. 
right, right in its, it's just, it, why, why couldn't they run out of fuel? How were they able to save it? And I didn't. And they were hounding my ass too, like, I, I don't know, I'll, it's, I it would think I'll be like, oh, who cares, who cares? No, this game doesn't do anything right. Um, man, that's probably about it for fuel strat. I mean, probably not gonna, it's gonna be close on fuel. At least we're 11th. That's good. We actually have a decent car, but just the tire fall off just always kills us. I don't know. It's just so many instances where that that's happened. So we got 10 laps in the fuel, and how many laps left in the race? 11. I don't know if we can even save one lap, considering how that went earlier. I mean, we really didn't even save that much at all. As we get an amazing start. I mean, what? 11th to 1st? Before we even get out of turn one. I mean, that's that's a hell of a start. And we held on to it. Oh my god. Huh. Okay, they're pitting now. That's interesting. We've been in this position before. We've never had a race properly play out in such a long time. You know, it would make sense for me to pit now. I don't know what... I know I'm just going to get digged over somehow, some way. Even though this is a very big track and it's very rare to actually lap, get yourself live down here. But we've, we've just, we've had such shit luck with, with the, ugh. I don't know. I'll pit this lap, sure. Um, no tires, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do, but. I mean, I'll get screwed either way. I'll lose time on pit road, or I'll gain, or I'll keep the time I have, but still lose ground. So I don't know. Okay, that was that was perfect, actually. Now, what do I do? Should I take, you know, just a splash of fuel and right side tires and lose so many spots, or should I just? Keep the tires I have on there and just get run over. So, pick your poison. Lose spots or get run over. That's... It's... it's ha I just wish they would have the same... Daniel Hamrick say now. I, we cannot stretch it on fuel, so... We're gonna go with right sides. Some are staying out. I I can't save that fuel, so... Let's, let's try that. 27th. Figure. Figures. I guess everybody else just took no tires. No tire. It's... I'm tired. What? This is like the third time this season, or the fourth time this season, where we've had a decent run, and something just retarded happens, where I take right sides and the whole field takes, I guess, just fuel. I don't know. It's happened so many times. It's just, it's so fucking dumb. have to try to move our way through the field and get as much spots as we can. At least we have right side tires. I know we have a good enough car at this point so we can even just cheese a crap ton of spots on these final restarts. It's just stupid how this plays out like this so much. But we'll get by Ryan Reed. I think we'll get I think we'll comfortably get, get a top 10 finish as long as Michael Annette doesn't fucking kill me. But yeah, we're fast. Yeah, it's just, that's good. This will be just another race where it's just a shame we never really got the, uh, the finish we really needed or deserved. We definitely had a winning car, maybe a top five of that. Michael and Ness car is all battered. Thankfully, and I mean thankfully, he, he lets me go. Which I appreciate. Don't mean to dive bomb, it's high, but don't want to get killed by a net. Oh god, don't get ping ponged. Okay, beautiful. How are we going to get a top five finish? We're going to have to pull a miracle out of our ass. If they didn't take any tires, then we should have a good chance. Let's get through this corner. And we got through there really freaking good. Really freaking good. Alright, turn three time. We're just going to be an AI driver and just you know poke our nose in there like they do to me all the time. It worked, but will I have enough speed to even get a spot? Nope, okay. We'll get 8th. We'll get 8th, okay. How many times is this play? I mean, I'm glad I got 8th, I guess, but man, how many times have we done these races where, like, we just get terribly timed cautions, and 
they didn't take any tires. I, like if they like if they were racing the same sort of thing I was, the same tire wear, they should just have no grip at this point in that run, and I should have probably been able to move through the field even easier because I had right side tires at least. I I don't know. Can we at least see what brought out the caution to any extent? Or it's just gonna be another mystery. No? Okay. Well, what happened here? Okay, Brandon Jones just blows a tire, Rex. And Michael Annette kills him. Okay, of course Michael Annette have to, would have to be involved in the wreck. Because he's my rival. He wants to dick my entire career over. Whatever, we got a top ten. Ugh, that's just frustrating. How many times are we get dicked over by just dumb pit strategy? I guess the right call would have just been take no tires, but I would have had no grip at that point. That would have been screwed. Pick your poison. Either get runned over for no tire grip or restart 27th and get 8th in two laps. Whatever, we still had the points lead at least. And we got the fastest lap. Well, that's kind of... I didn't expect that, but that's pretty cool. $143,000 gained from that race and over 5,000 fans. Now, what do you guys say, Kelly? Great clean racing out there. I've talked to a lot of drivers and they enjoy racing against you. Keep it up. Boy, I wish you could say that to, uh, you know, you can, you know, I wish you could say that to Michael Annette who kills me, try to, like, every race he gets, but, you know, okay. What do, what do you gotta say, Ryan Reed? You've been racing really clean out there. You keep this up, your rivals just may become your friends. That'd make your life a lot easier. His eyebrows do some really weird things when he talks, I tell you. I, I've never seen it. I never focused on someone's eyebrows until now. Nice top 10. Every point matters. Thanks. So yeah, normally I think you're a terrible driver. Well, that terrible driver is leading the points and has more wins than your entire racing NASCAR career. So get fucked. But you were clean. Hashtag thanks. Finally! Finally! He's not my rival anymore. It took almost a full season. And he's finally not pissed at me. In NASCAR Thunder... When a driver would be like a hundred percent, normally it would kind of like degrade over like a, a period, like you know, period of races. Maybe, maybe you know, go from a hundred that the end race results, you know, show like maybe eighty. It goes down maybe by twenty or or some other increment, but it doesn't take a fucking season for them to chill. But he finally is chill. Compliments him. The 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 arc in the saga of him pissing me off might be over. Honestly, I can't even be more happy. Okay, Cup Race of Pocono, we'll send that. How much money will we get out of that? So we can be that much closer to getting whatever we need. 224000 That's very good. And we're at 1.7 million or 1 point? Okay, 1.7. Quickly replied to all of those messages. And the next week, oh, we got an Extreme Dirt Tour, Truck Race, and Xfinity. I guess we'll do that stuff like off camera. I'm not concerned about whatever team we're gonna do but yeah i guess i'll do this stuff like off camera for next part but yeah uh pocono i uh i just a lot of the same same sort of stuff a race can never properly play out and yeah, how many times has that happened this season how many times has that happened where we've done a race and something weird has happened it's happened at pocono the caution scenario thing happened at charlotte too a uh, dover that happened again so that's what three races in a row that's happened. Talladega, I don't think happened, at least to my knowledge. That's at least we defini I definitively have three instances, and Bristol never had a problem. Texas, I remember that. That was four. Auto Club, I don't think that really matters, but I know Atlanta did. I know Atlanta did, so that's five. But five races out of the how many races have we done? Like twelve. Yeah, five out. Yeah, five out of the twelve have had some stupid scripted shit, and there might be more. And that's just that's just off the top of my head. Oh my god, it's it's amazing how much this game does not let things play out. Like they, they, there are races that happen where it goes green all the way to the end. You know, at the end of stage three. I mean, it happened at Homestead. Remember that trucks went caution free except for the stages, and so did Xfinity. Nah. 
It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I'm gonna stop ranting. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters, the Dell Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ronnie Lazar, and Dave, Five Hundred Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Motorsports Games, and Preston Carpenter for a donation again. I can't ever thank guys enough for contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and like I always say, I cannot thank guys enough for continued support for and for being just so awesome. I'll see you all next part for the Xfinity race at Michigan. I don't know what that will really bring. Again, we're going into that with the 100 engine, so we should have a very good horsepower advantage, kind of like Pocono. And, yeah, I don't know what to really expect. But at least we'll got the dirt and truck stuff to do off camera to get a little bit more money and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's about it for me. I will see you all next part, and I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.